Hey folks, Steve here. So a couple of days ago, there was this poem that was shared around a lot on the internet. And at first, a lot of us thought, because in the initial reports, it was said that it was an official inaugural poem for Trump's inauguration. Turned out later that wasn't true. It was just a poem that some dude wrote because he really, really loves Donald Trump. But whether it's an official poem or not, it's the most like chilling propaganda, hagiographic horseshit you've ever read in your life. It paints Trump as this titan coming down from a tower, this conquering hero who is riding to the rescue of America to depose the tyrant Obama. And it's, it's, it's just that, right? And I thought, you know, it's really inappropriate for Donald Trump because Donald Trump is not a hero. He may, he may in fact be a would-be tyrant himself, far from rescuing the people from a tyrant. That's, that's rather self-serving. Um, and I thought there must be a much better poem and not only that, a more appropriate poetic form that we could use if we want to use poetry to mark the occasion of the Trump inauguration. So I decided that it would be, instead of uh, an epic poem written about Donald Trump and his inauguration, it would be much more appropriate if we turned to a more humbler poetic form, one of my personal favorites, and that is, that is uh, of course, the limerick. I love me a good limerick, and the thing about limericks that make them especially appropriate when the subject is Donald Trump is, well, number one, they're, they're traditionally clever, which that doesn't work. Trump is, is uh, never within a million miles of clever, but they're also traditionally vulgar. And boy, does that apply to Donald Trump. He's got to be one of the most vulgar people I have ever known of in existence in my life, in all of the various senses of the word vulgar. So with your kind indulgence, my preamble having rambled quite a bit, now I want to present to you a poem, a series of limericks on Donald Trump. Here's Donald, a man in a tower who bullshat his way into power. He craves admiration, but makes most of the nation feel filthy and needing a shower. The thing is, our Donald's a racist, and also, quite probably, a rapist, a liar, a fraud, an ignorant clod whose morals are simply the basest. He's blocked blacks from renting his houses, abused, dissed, and bullied his spouses, brought bigots to beachheads, gained platforms for skinheads, and staffed up the West Wing with louses. He wasn't the popular pick, though the SVR finds him quite slick. It might sound contradictory, but a tainted half-victory seems plenty for this preening dick. Don't forget, as his presidency passes and he fosters and feeds on the fears of the masses, he campaigned on race hate. He's a cheat and a cheapskate. He'll never assimilate what makes America great. Again, let me restate, resist this man's dictate. Election day. Save the date, and let's use all our weight to frustrate this low-rate magnate with no mandate. Let's remind them how vital the voting class is and throw Trump and his troop the fuck out on their asses. What'd you think? Did you like it? Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you found that entertaining or something. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And also, please consider helping me to make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash steveshives to become a patron of this channel. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.